It is November 1924. Thirteen passengers walked on board. One of us was carried off horizontally two days later. Little evidence exists to support any version of the weekend events. History has been written in whispers. This is the whisper I hear in my dreams. The woman, most of them had three dresses each, which includes their day dress for the arriving scene, um, an evening dress for the party scene or the dinner scene, and then the next day when they're at breakfast. So most of them have at least three dresses unless they're not in those scenes. And of course you've got to have all the shoes to go with it all as well. And matching with all these wonderful colours and all these different textures and things. So yeah, we've got um, all kinds of different things like the sequins and tassels and things from the 20s to liven up the black and all that kind of thing. Lots of sequins going on here. Charlie? Just trying to find Charlie Chaplin. A very difficult thing to find for an actor, playing a famous person such as Chaplin. Most audiences only know him from his silent films. The character of Charlie himself as the man was quite different from what you saw in his films. Hi, I'm Celia Moore and I'm an actress. You might have seen me in plenty of silent films. And she's quite ditzy, so she's likely to wear one of these stylish sort of outfits, um, trying to look her best to impress all the famous actors that will be on board the ship. The movie picture is the new, maybe ultimate, great communicator. Sure, you've got a few subtitles to read, but through those pictures, those glorious moving pictures, the universal language of morality, politics, and any goddamn thing I can put into anyone's head is right at my fingertips. Hi, I'm Catherine Syme and I'm a life member of Heart Little Theatre. I've done a wide variety of roles over the years, but this is the first time I've done a real person. So it's been great fun researching the character of Eleanor Glynn, who was a famous English novelist who was born in the Victorian era and became quite a woman of the world, making huge amounts of money from her novels. I read one of them, along with the biography that I read to, to find out more about her, and I found it was pretty tame by today's standards. But I think at the time, she was probably the Barbara Cartland of her day. And by the time of this play, The Cat's Meow, she was living in Hollywood and was involved in the beginnings of the great silent movie era. So she knew Hearst and Chaplin very, very well.